If your Google TV streamer remote ever stops working, I wanted to create a few simple steps that you can walk through to get it reconnected and synced back to your streamer. We're gonna go from the most simple step all the way to the most complex, and if none of these work, I'll still have an option for you at the end of the video. Now, if you wanna learn how to save money on streaming services and yeah, fix your devices, make sure to subscribe to UG Tech right down below. So step number one is actually so simple. Some of you are gonna say, why am I watching this video? But it's actually something that a lot of people forget. And that is this right here. Taking your batteries out of your remote. Now you'd be surprised how many times people just don't check to see if the batteries are dead. Sometimes the included batteries just really don't have a good charge to them. So popping in a new one will sometimes fix that issue. Now if that doesn't work, here's step number two. So there's actually a button combination we can do to reset our Google TV streamer remote. The first set of buttons involves this center button at the top here, the OK button, and this mute button right here. So what we're gonna do is hold this down and keep holding it. It's gonna take about five to eight seconds. So once you hear that and you see that white light on the bottom, the remote is now reset. And you're gonna notice on my screen right now, I can't move anywhere, nothing I can do. So after that, the next set of buttons we wanna press are the home button and this back button. So hold these two down together and that button means it's reconnected. So now if we look on our device, watch how I can now scroll through and easily get through my device. So hopefully that fixed your remote, but now let's move to the next step. So if we go inside of settings on our device and scroll down to the bottom, you're gonna see remote and accessories. So this is usually where I suggest people forget their remote, but you're gonna say, well, wait, I can't connect my remote. How am I gonna do this? Well, this is where you wanna to go to the Google Home app. Now in here, you can connect to any of your Google TV devices and use them as a remote, as long as your device is connected to the same Wi-Fi network that's on your phone. So here, I, this is actually my Google TV streamer. You can see it's highlighted. If I click on that right there, so there's volume I can adjust, but we can go to remote right here, and on screen, we're now gonna see a code. So we're gonna type this code in, 9A, Four. So now we can actually control our device, if we look on screen here, directly with our phone, even pressing the home button to easily scroll around. It's actually really simple. So what I suggest doing is going here, scrolling down, clicking on this, going to your remote. So let's find our remote. This is our Google TV remote that's connected. You can see the battery life on it is good. We can press forget right here, press okay. Well, now we don't have a remote connected. So we're gonna do the same button combination as before. Hold down the home and the back button and we can click pair right there. That's gonna pair our remote back up to our device. Now, of course, you also still have access to your phone that you can use as a remote and that's always a good backup. So that's another really nice option if you wanna be able to easily have this connected at all times. Now, if none of that works, you're gonna wanna try this step right here. You're gonna wanna take your Google TV remote and grab your favorite hammer and, no, don't actually do that. Instead, go on Amazon and you're gonna wanna purchase this. So this is the first product you're gonna wanna purchase and it's only $9. I have all these linked down below, but this is gonna come in handy for more than just a remote. This first side here is a USB-C in port. This is gonna plug into your Google TV streamer's power port. Now it branches off and it gives you the power port right here that you're gonna plug your power source into, but it also gives you a USB-A port, which now we can use for a remote. So there are a ton of different remotes, but the ones I suggest, there's some cheap ones here too that work great by the way, are one of these, and I've linked a few of my favorites down below because they come with this little accessory right here and that is basically a USB dongle. So this will plug into that OTG cable and allow you to use your remote without a connection. And this also has a keyboard with it. So for basically $14, you're adding a keyboard remote to your Google TV streamer that's no longer working. Now you can actually purchase another Google TV streamer remote and I've posted that down below too. You can see it right here. Um, now this one's a knockoff, but it's basically the exact same thing. I think my option's better where at least, although your remote's not working, 
you're getting a better option. So I think that's probably the way to go. But if you guys enjoyed this video and you like that I helped you out, just make sure to subscribe down below. It's the best way to support me and I'll see you guys in the next one.